This is my 2018 E400 wagon. These are the boring calipers that come with my 2018 E400 wagon. And this is the color we're gonna use to spice those things up a little bit. Let's go do an amateur job of painting my calipers. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean these off. I'm gonna block off all the metal. So I'm gonna block these off, this, this whole thing's gonna get taped off, tape the brake pad off, cover this all up, and basically just create a shield all around here because all I wanna paint is this. I'm gonna be the first to say that I'm probably not gonna get it perfect in the rear. Not that worried about it. I'm gonna try to get as much as I can on the rear, but a lot of the focus is gonna be kind of in this area. Do it your way. If you want to take the time and actually do the whole rear, go for it. Finally done here. As you can see, I've got tape in almost every crevice here. Tape that off. Tape, tape, tape the rotor off. Everything is blocked. Screws that are back there are also taped off. The rubber part right there is taped off down there as well. So this is actually a lot more work than the front, even though it's a much smaller caliper because of all the little crevices that this will get into. Now the paint will get in there. So I'm going to put a little bit of tape in there after I brush this off because otherwise you'll see the overspray. So I'm just going to fix the tape after brushing right there as well as right here. The tape came out and I just got to tuck that back in. If it looks like this is clogging, that you uh, wipe it down like a microfiber.
these have been drying for 24 hours approximately yeah, like 20 hours and now we're gonna use the VHT gloss clear engine enamel to do a couple layers of clear on here Ladies and gentlemen, last layer. And just as a note, if you want to put any kind of logo or sticker or you know any kind of branding on the brakes, there's two ways of doing it. You can do it after I'm done with all of this before ceramic coating, or you can put it on and then do the gloss, which some people have recommended because then it kind of protects the vinyl letters. I'm just gonna put them on later on, but I am gonna gloss before I put the vinyl letters on. Are done. Now we're gonna let it dry. Okay, so all the plastic is off. Uh, as you can see, it's, I would say, probably like 80% well done. There's just areas on the brake pad that kind of leak through, but the brake pads will eventually get replaced, so this will clean up. Uh, the coverage here looks really good. Coverage here looks really good. Just a little bit of a spray here. I'm not too stressed about it. But overall, not too bad. It's, just, it's shiny. And let's look at the front also shiny this actually looks pretty solid mm -hmm. 